Hello friends. Today we are going to study about protein tertiary structure taking the example of alpha keratin. Now already studied what do we mean by tertiary structure? It is the 3D arrangement of all the atoms in a polypeptide including the backbone and its side chain. How they are arranged, how they interact with each other, their directions, angles, everything comes under the tertiary structure. Now tertiary structure is mainly stabilized by non-covalent interactions and sometimes by covalent interaction that is a disulfide bond. Before we understand about the tertiary structure, let's first look into the classification of proteins. Now proteins are classified into two classes, fibrous protein and globular protein. Now fibrous that is fiber that means these are long thread or sheet like globular means globe that means spherical so globular proteins are spherical in nature fibrous proteins are made up of only one kind of secondary structures but in case of globular protein they are the mixture of various type of secondary structures fibrous proteins these are mainly used for maintaining the structure shape the outer layer or the protective layer of the body. Globular proteins, these are mainly the enzymes and regulatory proteins. So there is a difference between the characteristics and the function they play. So the same thing is written here. In case of fibrous protein, the examples are alpha keratin, collagen, that means the proteins that provide support, shape, protection. Okay. In case of globular protein, for example, myoglobin and hemoglobin. So this is about the classification of proteins. Now first we will study about fibrous proteins. So fibrous proteins, they provide strength and of flexibility. These are simple repeating elements of secondary structure and fibrous proteins are insoluble in water. Because they are insoluble in water, that means they have a high concentration of hydrophobic amino acids. Now under fibrous protein, we will understand the tertiary structure by taking the example of alpha keratin, specifically of hair. Now alpha keratin is found in mammals. There is one more form of keratin that is beta keratin which are found in birds and reptiles. They constitute the entire dry weight of hair, bull, nail, claws, outer layer of the skin. And alpha keratin is a member of intermediate filament protein family. Now as the name suggests alpha keratin is made up of alpha helix. Now we already learned about alpha helix that alpha helix has a right-handed conformation. Now in alpha keratin two such alpha helix are arranged in a coiled coil structure. So this structure is coiled coil where two alpha helix are arranged and during this arrangement the both the alpha helix they are coiled in a left-handed conformation. Alpha helix is a right-handed conformation but when two alpha helix arranged in a coiled coil formation, that formation is a left handed formation. But these are parallelly arranged. That is, the end terminal of one alpha helix faces the end terminal of the second alpha helix. So, this structure is a coiled coil structure. Okay. So, alpha helix is what? This is a secondary structure. When two such alpha helix are arranged in a coiled coil manner, this constitutes the tertiary structure. When the two alpha helix are arranged in a coiled coil manner, in this the hydrophobic amino acid found in one alpha helix faces the hydrophobic amino acid found in the second alpha helix. So the alpha helices are arranged as a coiled coil arrangement and they are oriented in parallel. The two strands of alpha keratin, these are parallelly oriented. That means the end terminal of one alpha helix faces the end terminal of another alpha helix. And they twist it to form a coiled coil structure. Now, why this coiled coil structure is needed? Because it provides or it amplifies the strength, just like a rope. In the rope, you can see the two thin rope are coiled among each other to form a thick rope. Why so? Because it gives more strength to the rope. When they are twisted in a coiled coil manner, that twisting is a left handed. Now one more thing is, in alpha helix, if you remember from that video, the pitch is 5.4 angstrom. 
But in case of coiled coil structure, the pitch is 5.1 angstrom. Why the difference is? Because of this left-handed coiling. Now the surface where two alpha helistructures are made up of hydrophobic amino acids. Hence, from there only we can conclude that alpha keratin, because it is a type of fibrous protein which are insoluble in water, so alpha keratin constitute mainly of hydrophobic residues. Now, why this coiled coil structure forms? The result is in its primary structure. The center of the polypeptide constitute approximately 310 residues. In that 310 residues, it consists of 7 residue of pseudo repeat A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This pseudo repeat of 7 residues are repeated in each polypeptide. Now, when they repeat, and due to this coiled coil structure, what happens? The amino acid present in A position faces the amino acid present in D position with the second alpha helix. Similarly, the amino acid present in D position in the first helix faces the amino acid present in A position in the second helix. So therefore, it is important that these four positions should contain the hydrophobic amino acid so that they can form the interlock and they can stabilize the structure. So therefore, in this pseudo repeat A, B, C, D, E, F, G, which is found in each polypeptide, in these repeats, the amino acid found in the first position and the amino acid found in the fourth position is always a hydrophobic amino acid. Now, in case of alpha helix, if you remember from the video again, each turn contains 3.6 amino acid residue. Whereas, when they are in a coiled coil form, each turn contains 3.5 amino acid residue. So it is a little smaller in size, due to which what happens, this DNA of these two alpha helices, they are not exactly in front of each other. They are inclined at 18 degree relative to each other. And hence, because of this 18 degree inclination, they result in a coiled coil arrangement. So coiled coil nature, or why the two helices form the coiled coil that depends on its primary structure. So what is there in its primary structure? The seven residues pseudo repeat A, B, C, D, E, F, G in which the first and the fourth amino acid are the hydrophobic amino acid. And when they are coiling among each other during that time, the first amino acid of one helix comes in front of fourth amino acid of the second helix so that they can interact better with each other resulted in a coiled coil conformation. And also the number of residues per turn is 3.6 amino acid in case of alpha helix, whereas it is 3.5 when they are taking this coiled coil nature. And because of this, they are inclined at about 18 degree relative to each other. And this results in a stabilized coiled coil arrangement. Therefore, now if you look into the primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure of alpha keratin, what we will find. Primary structure is the amino acid sequence and composition. What is the secondary structure of alpha keratin? Alpha helix. Now, two such alpha helix will arrange in a coiled coil manner. And this coiled coil is the tertiary structure. Alpha helix is a secondary structure. Now, two such coiled coil will form the quaternary structure. So, this where two such coiled coil structure is there. This structure is known as protofilament. Similarly, two such protofilament will form protofibril. Four such protofibril will form intermediate filament. So this is how the arrangement is. Secondary structure is alpha helix. Two such secondary structure or the alpha helix will form the coiled coil that is tertiary structure. Two such coiled coil or tertiary structure will form the quaternary structure known as protofilament. Two such protofilament will join to form protofibril. Four such protofibril will join to form intermediate filament. The same it is written here. Secondary structure is the alpha helix. Tertiary structure is the two alpha helix super twisted to form a left handed coiled coil structure. And quaternary structure where two such coiled coil structure will interact and assemble to form a large supramolecular complex. 
Now, alpha keratin can again be classified into two categories that is soft and hard keratin. And this depends upon the sulfur content. In case of hard keratin, the sulfur content is more. For example, in rhinoceros horn, they contain 18% of cysteine residues. So more disulfide bond formation will occur and more the alpha keratin will become hard. Example of soft keratin is skin. Clear? So more of cysteine residues, more of disulfide bond, the keratin will become of hard nature. Now one question from my end for you all, that is hydrophobic residues usually appear at the first and the fourth position in the seventh residue repeat of polypeptide that form coiled coils. Why do polar or charge residues usually appear in the remaining five position? And the second question is, why is the sequence which is given here, the sequence is more likely than the sequence two to appear in a coiled coil? So you have to tell me why the sequence one is more likely to be present compared to sequence two in a coiled coil structure. Do let me know in the comment section if you find the video informative. Please do like, share and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the next video notification. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.